I wanted to give you a quick update on my greenhouse. I wasn't sure we were going to be able to get the planters in uh, before the snow, before the cold weather, and the weather was really nice. We were fortunate, and because of that, uh, the planters are in. So they started by creating the planters on one side of the greenhouse, so on the left side of the greenhouse. And as I've already said, there's a space that was left right at the entrance where some shelvings are going to be added in, so I'll have a little workspace inside of my greenhouse. And then the planters were then created on the right side of the greenhouse as well, and like I said, these run all the way through. We then proceeded to lay some ground, like a fabric ground cover, like the one that I used when I planted my garlic in the fall. And if you haven't seen that video, be sure to check it out, how I used this same ground cover to cover uh, my garlic with. And so I had enough left and we decided to line the bottom of the planters with that ground cover um, to help keep the moisture in, to prevent any soil from falling out. Uh, as well. So that's what we laid on the bottom of the planters. Again, I wasn't sure if we were going to be able to put the soil in on time because the, you know it was getting cold, we were afraid that it was going to freeze, but once again, very fortunate, we had like a small window of a couple of days where the temperature was really mild and we were able to go up and get the soil to add to the greenhouse. So uh, it took quite a bit. It took a little bit more than we thought it would. So, and we ran out of time, so we weren't able to completely fill both sides of the planters. But the left side is completely full, and the right side probably about halfway. So now when the spring comes, all we'll have left to do is to go get a little bit more soil to fill the planters, and then we'll be ready to go. And I really wish you could smell this. It smells so nice with the wood, the, the fresh wood, the fresh soil. Anyway, it just smells absolutely amazing. I've also, all the, um, the uh, fabric planters that I had, my sweet potatoes growing in this summer, it's really nice. I was able to all tuck them in underneath and to get them out of the way for the winter. So that's it. That's my greenhouse. That's where it's at up until now. Only a few minor things left to do. So looking forward to it. I'm going to have to do a lot of reading, watch a lot of YouTube videos to see uh, how to plant in a greenhouse because I have no idea what I'm doing. And uh, most of the planting that gets done in the summer gets done by my father. So usually I just kind of help upkeep and do the weeding and fertilizing, but, but never really the uh, planting. So it's going to be quite the learning process. If you have any suggestions of books I should read, but it's going to be books for Canada, like the climate here in Canada, I'd be willing to have any suggestions or any helpful tips that you may have. So I hope you've enjoyed this little update on my greenhouse. Uh, check out my other videos and be sure to check back again soon.